How about those Browns? I know we got a lot of Browns fans that watch this show. I know we got a lot of Browns fans that listen to me on Sirius XM on a daily basis. So you can catch me weekday mornings on Mad Dog Sports Radio Channel 82. And I got to say, I feel good for Browns fans because they got lit up by the Browns players last week for cheering and or booing when Deshaun Watson went down. But I think that the Browns players were discounting just how negative everything had become in that city with that fan base. Look, here's the reality. Browns fans didn't wake up opening weekend of the season and go, I can't wait to start booing this team. They didn't wake up and say, I can't wait for the team to be one and six. They didn't wake up and say, man, when things go bad, I'm so ready to get down to the Browns. There was optimism in Cleveland. This was a season that was supposed to be a good season, a positive season. One of the best defenses in football. The return of Nick Chubb at some point of the season. A full offseason for Deshaun Watson to be healthy and understand the offense. The return of a coaching staff that helped Joe Flacco look like a former version of himself. And Kevin Stefanski, a two-time head coach of the year. This was a season where the Browns were supposed to compete. And it went sideways, and it got more and more negative by the week. And they found new ways to lose and new ways to embarrass themselves, the city, and the fan base. And so when Deshaun Watson goes down, that is not necessarily a personal, I hate you. That is, to me, an expression of, This season sucks. Everything sucks. And today, look at how different the whole vibe at that stadium was. It was light. It was encouraging. It was optimistic. And this was with Jameis Winston at the helm. Jameis E to W Winston. E to W. When Jameis Winston started hitting passes and moving the offense, there was this swell of, oh, we have our team back. We have a football team again. It was like, oh, my goodness, we're not getting evicted. We made the mortgage this month. We made rent. The Browns fans have been beaten down from a lifetime of torture. And Deshaun Watson became more and more insular, more and more guarded, more and more defensive and depressed in my mind. I think you saw a guy that was emotionally miserable, mentally broken, and physically his play followed suit. Well, what does that do if that's your leader under center of the offense? He's a guy that emotionally wasn't there. He was gone. He was broken. So the whole, that's where your team has to have a focal point. The team was broken. The city was broken. The fan base was broken. Today's comeback victory over the Ravens who walked into the day as the single best contender in the AFC, aside from the Chiefs, is a moment where for a day, a glorious day, a beautiful late summer, early fall feeling day in Cleveland, everything felt right and good again. I think last week's response of the Browns players to the booing of Deshaun Watson ignored the fact that Deshaun Watson himself, his body language, his spoken word, and his play was emblematic of sucking any joy out of Sundays. That's what these teams are here for. They are a chance for us to feel good once a week, maybe in the playoffs, maybe the end of the season. But just make us feel okay every so often. And man, we'll forgive a lot. Browns fans want to love the team. They desperately want to love the team. And they couldn't because Deshaun Watson clearly wasn't in love with his job. 
And today, it was like a candle that was blown out was lit again. Man, that was awesome to watch. That was really awesome. And maybe it's a one-week thing. But you can't help but see how different last week was compared to this week. How different, how unbelievably different everything was once you removed Deshaun Watson out of that equation. The team played better. The fans felt better. The offense ran better. The coach looked better. Everything was better. Everything was better when Deshaun Watson was removed from the equation. So yeah, maybe did it seem a little heartless when they cheered or booed Deshaun Watson's injury? Perhaps it looked that way. But they were validated because what they wanted was anything but that. The negativity, the poison, the darkness, the depression. They wanted anything but what Deshaun Watson was bringing to the table. And they got different. Oh, and it was great. It was great. I understand the players get defensive because if they were injured, they would hate to see or hear a crowd cheer that. That's their health. That's their livelihood. That's their family. I get it. But in many ways, the Browns players that scolded Browns fans, they, they owe an apology to those Browns fans because look what it felt like and looked like when it was different. 